today's lecture is on prepositions well you may have heard this word a lot many times but many of you might not know what it exactly stands for why do we need prepositions well prepositions are the words which tell the relationship between a ta- between time space and cause in a sentence these words are really useful words which provide us the information as i say he is in the room when i used the word in that means i am telling you about the place where the person is so what exactly is a preposition a preposition is a word which shows the relationship between one thing and another in a sentence and it links nouns pronouns and phrases to other words in a sentence that is why it is pre position or preposition as we call it because it is placed before the noun the word or phrase that the preposition introduces is called object of a sentence so what can preposition tell you it may tell you where a thing is in relation to something else or the juicy red apple was on the book so on is the place if i say i have a pen in my hand that means the pen is in my hand covered in my fist but if i say the pen is on my hand that means it is directly placed on my hand open so these type of sentences tell us about the directions it may tell you when something is in relation to another event she refused to leave the house until the postman had been so in this sentence the girl used the word until until stands for tab tab until is the negative of till otherwise it can be used as till if you want to talk in a positive sentence what else can preposition tell you a preposition may tell you the position of something in relation to something else the gentle brown dog slept beside the fluffy white rabbit beside on one side of something right in this way you get to know about the direction where the dog was sleeping it may also tell you the direction something is traveling in relation to something else the gallant horseman was riding along the windy shore line along ke sath sath when we say this in hindi here are some more prepositions that you can have a look of before behind from beneath across below down throughout with past among near above during under outside towards upon over after to you can sometimes begin a sentence with a preposition without fear the brave child climbed the tall mountain well these are further classified in different parts so under the four poster bed the lazy cat was having a snooze so without and under both are used in the beginning inside the old house there were all sorts of strange looking people along the hall crawl the large spindly spider in this way you can use it in the first place choosing prepositions well make sure you choose a preposition which is appropriate check that it makes sense in your sentence obviously sometimes you people make mistake while using in on at by these are the common errors we make try to think of alternatives that may be more interesting but still mean the same now you can use a variety of prepositions in your writing thank you